Hey everyone, this is Mind Body Connection with a book summary of a great book by Andrew Farabee called The Porn Pandemic. This book talks about some of the problems men are having with porn, the rise of the porn industry, how to tell if you have a problem with porn, and how to quit watching it. It describes porn as filling a bucket with a hole in it. It's never going to be full because you're always chasing the perfect scene, the perfect angle, the perfect girl, and you're never going to find it. It just keeps escalating to a darker and darker place as you waste more and more hours of your day. Honestly, when you look back on your life, I can guarantee you none of your cherished memories will be about watching porn. Men who quit watching porn have noticed increased energy levels, increased confidence, and increased motivation to achieve their goals. Now let's talk about some of the problems men have noticed since they've started watching porn. First, erectile dysfunction. This has always been a problem for older men, but since high-speed internet porn has been around, doctors have noticed an increased number of younger men who are reporting that they can't perform when they're with a real partner. Other problems such as men who are putting their jobs and relationships at risk due to porn. Men who are choosing to watch porn rather than to have a real relationship. Men who are having difficulty relating to and attracting women. Men who've lost motivation in their life, they're less social and they have difficulty connecting with people. Men who don't look at women for the beautiful and intelligent people they are, but rather look at them as an object or someone that they can get something from. These are just some of the problems men have been experiencing. In the book, Andrew highlights some of the facts and figures which show the growth of the porn industry. As of 2015, the porn industry was a $97 billion a year industry. To put that number in perspective, the porn industry has bigger revenues than Facebook, Amazon, McDonald's, Google, and Microsoft. If you were to take the combined revenue of the NBA, the NFL, MLB, and multiply them by three, they still wouldn't be larger than the porn industry. Other facts, such as 30% of all people on the internet right now are looking at porn. 25% of everything that gets entered into Google is porn related. 69% of all the money being spent on the internet right now is for porn. Think about this for a second. Most porn is free, yet 69% of the money being spent on the internet is for the higher quality stuff that you have to pay for. Pornhub, the world's largest porn site, reported that 4.4 billion hours of porn was watched in 2015. In other words, the hours of porn watched in 2015 was longer than human beings have walked this earth. Porn has been shown to overload your brain with dopamine, the feel-good hormone. It overstimulates the brain so real life seems boring and nothing you do all day will be as exciting as the porn you watch. So you start to withdraw from real life and lose interest in things. After enough time, porn changes our brain from being hardwired to a real person to being hardwired to a computer screen. That's why some men are experiencing erectile dysfunction when they're with a real woman. Scientists who study addiction have discovered that all addictions have some form of the three A's of addiction. Accessibility, which is how easy it is to get. Affordability is how much it costs. And anonymity, whether you can keep the addiction a secret or not. Most addictions have one or two of these, but porn has all three. Take alcohol for example. It's accessible because you can buy it in many places, but because it's not free, it prevents people from drinking it all the time or drinking as much as they want. Alcohol also has anonymity because you can hide it from people, but high-speed internet porn has all three. You can watch it anywhere on your phone, your computer, your tablet. It's free and you can keep it a secret from everyone. It's the perfect combination for addiction. Okay, so how do you know if you have a problem with porn? If you answer yes to one or more of the following questions, you may have a problem. Do you find yourself spending more and more time watching porn? Do you have problems when you're with a real partner, such as erectile dysfunction, or you need to replay porn scenes in your mind to bring yourself to orgasm? Do you promise yourself that you'll no longer watch porn, but you find yourself back there again and again? Do you find yourself watching things that are now more hardcore and graphic than when you first started? Has porn caused a reduction in your friends or social commitments? Do you feel ashamed after viewing it? Do you feel porn is preventing you from reaching your goals? So if you think you have a problem with porn, how do you quit? The first step is to take an estimate of the number of hours or minutes you watch porn every day and also take an estimate of the number of scenes you typically watch per sitting. Then follow the seven step process. You can pause the video here and take a look at the seven stages. I'll also put them in the description below. But basically the seven stages are a gradual reduction over time of the number of hours and minutes you watch porn and the number of scenes you watch each day to eventually it gets to the point where you no longer need porn at all. 
When you're trying to quit and you feel the urge to start watching porn again coming on, the best thing you can do is change your state. This means you change the way you feel. You can get up, you can go for a walk, you can take a cold shower, you can do some exercise. If you change your state, if you ignore the urge, it will eventually go away. You can also check out these websites, getcoldturkey.com, which blocks certain sites, and rebootnation.org, or yourbrainonporn.com. These sites have excellent resources for men who are looking to quit. By far the most important thing you can do is to have goals and passions that inspire you so much that porn no longer has a place in your life. Think about it, if you're a man who loves his life, loves his work and pursues his passion, you will no longer have a need to distract yourself with porn. I really hope you check out this book. I think it can really help you. And remember that no amount of porn is going to love you back. So if you want to lose yourself in something, lose yourself in another person. Start loving life again and start loving women again. And if you would like to hear more book summaries on some of the best self-development books ever written, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.